Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can uh, one six or solo a 160 retrieve the data uh, with a more efficient way. This came in response to a question that I had on uh, my other video for retrieve the data, and they said there's another way you could do this with floor launchers, which I knew of, but unfortunately, sometimes the husk will like face through the wall, so. Uh, I'm going to run my uh, normal loadout of Ice King uh, with Mega Base Kyle, Base Kyle, Power Base Knox, Demolitionist Penny, and Machinist Harper. Um, so this is going to be my uh, loadout. And I'll load in. I am playing with friends. However, they are not going to be building or doing anything. They're just along for the ride. So I will show you this is uh, going to be fully solo. And... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this thing going. So let's find the. There it is. All right, so we located the landing spot. We actually have a pretty good drop here, so. I'm going to check the objectives. I know it's lightning already just because that's the season that we're in. So they're going to help keep some stuff off of me here, which is going to be nice. I'll show you this build. So you want to start out, put all doors in like normal. Um, and you're going to go three high with this. Um, if I can get it to go, there we go three high and then this one we don't need and let's place cones all along the top and edit these to angle out and then don't fall through like me because that's just not good go ahead and edit that one like it's supposed to be this one this one and this one so there we have it that's everything that we need there um, we can get rid of this okay so that's good and that stuff breaks as well nice okay then what you want to do is Upgrade all of the bottom layer here. And then the floor launchers I'm going to use are uh, double durability for impact knockback. You can use just three impact knockback and this will still work. Um, but um, the re extra reload speed works as well. Um, but for this, I'm just going to use these. And then I'm going to upgrade this stuff again. And there we go. So that's what it should look like. Just a big uh, port of fort They've already built our uh, ramp up. This is something you would build to get up and go 8 to 10 layers high. Um, but since they've already done that for me, I don't need to do that. And we're just going to start this mission. And you can see they haven't placed a base or done anything like that. And there you have it. Now uh, we'll sit here and uh, we'll stay away from all of the husk and let this do its work. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure they weren't down there hitting the bottom, knocking us down. And they thought it was funny to put a bunch of tar craps up here. <laughs> Try to give you a better view. You can see it just launches them back. Not too sure what that noise is.
I would say if you're going to do this, though, um, use the, um, I would get rid of one of the uh, impact knockback and go with reload speed. It just makes it a little bit better. Um, they're not standing there hitting the wall as much, but this is just the way that I run my, um, my floor uh, launchers. I don't generally um, use this method because, like I said, sometimes they will phase shift through. Um, but yeah, I just just run this uh, these floor launchers with another way that you know I use things and how I use the floor launchers. So I don't generally run this method, but I wanted to show it just in case. It will still work with this, but. If you do happen to get flingers, you do need to kill the flingers. It is important. Um, that's the only thing that you really got to watch out for, are flingers. So be sure you get those, kill them, and you're good to go. You don't always get them, but sometimes you do, and yeah. You want to be sure you take care of them. Looks like they knocked us down. They keep knocking it down. Unfortunately, the uh, lobbers are targeting us. I'm just going to build out here. Kind of get away from them. As long as you're high enough in the air that you're away from them, they, they won't really target you too much. So, I must have just found one of uh, my teammates or something and decided to target them. <clears throat> the smasher will just stand below you just like normal. Oh, so they're down there running away and coming up here to get away from the enemy.
and all is still well down below. And there you guys go. There you have it. Getting ready to download the last file. And an economical way to do the RTD Solo 160s. Uh, like I said, the other way it is the way that I mainly do it because it just is more, you know, it's more secure. But this is a cheaper way that you can get the job done. Uh, just be mindful that it may not always work, especially if you have the smoke screen husk because the purple smoke tends to like go through and damage the data as well as when you're running an RTL, it damages the van. So that's something to consider, but there you have it. I hope this video uh, helped you. I hope that you got some good information out of it. Uh, be sure to leave that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be notified for any other videos and if you ever want some help and have some questions or want some great people to play with link to our discord is down below i highly encourage you guys to join that would be uh, great to continue to add to the community we're at about 300 plus players right now so uh we're continuing to grow daily so uh feel free to join in have a great one